There is no company in the world that employs more people than Walmart. It has 2.2 million employees globally. In comparison, Amazon has nearly 650,000 employees. If Walmart were a country, its population would be somewhere between Gabon and Gambia. But in a tight job market, Walmart is now getting creative when it comes to hiring. Of Walmart's 1.4 million U.S. workers, less than 25,000 are in high school. The company acknowledged that's a very small percentage, and it's especially small when compared to other companies in its industry. So the company is trying a new recruiting approach, offering high school students free SAT and ACT prep, subsidizing a large chunk of their tuition, and offering college credit. So we're really interested in high school students as a potential talent pipeline for Walmart. And in addition, we hope they come work with us see what great career opportunities there are at Walmart and decide to stay with us in the long term. Hiring employees early on in their careers has proven to bring a number of benefits to companies. It costs less to employ them, and it's typically easier to train them to fit the company's growing needs, since there are no old habits that need to be broken. Others have also caught on to the advantages of hiring teens. Starbucks, McDonald's, Disney, and Chipotle all offer similar education benefits, but questions remain about how long these programs will last. Is this the new norm for big retailers, or will these benefits disappear when the job market turns? Teenagers aren't working nearly as much as they used to. Back in the 70s, 45% of teens were working part-time jobs. In 2018, the national average fell to 29%. The Society for Human Resource Management lists a number of reasons for the decline in teen employment, including a greater emphasis on participating in school activities, extracurriculars, and internships that will help augment college applications. That drop-off in high school-age workers has become problematic for employers. Unemployment in the U.S. is at record lows. That's led to a tight labor market, meaning that job creation outpaces the number of people searching for work. Things are especially bad for employers like Walmart. The job opening rate in retail remains above the national average. That's forced companies to rethink recruitment. Now they're turning to the elderly, the formerly incarcerated, and high schoolers. And so what's happening is that's causing a war for talent, right? The It's like a bit of an arms race where companies are having to do whatever it takes to attract and retain talent. It's just, it's just supply and demand, and the supply is not there. To beat out competitors, retailers are boosting hourly wages, vastly expanding employee benefits, and offering more flexible schedules. In Walmart's case, it's also offering incentives specifically targeted to its employees aged 18 and under. Live Better You offers heavily subsidized college tuition, books and fees at a preset list of universities, including the University of Florida, plus free SAT and ACT test prep, and up to seven hours of free college credit. Participants are eligible for a variety of bachelor's and associate degrees in subjects ranging from computer technology to supply chain management. Walmart rolled out its newly named Live Better You benefits program in early 2019, but expanded it to include more provisions for high schoolers three months later. That's one year after Walmart first introduced education benefits to associates in 2018. Because fewer and fewer high school students are working now, while they're going through high school. What that means is you have a huge number of students graduating from college who have never had a job before. And that really puts them at a disadvantage to being ready for the workforce because there are a lot of skills you learn on the job, just very practical skills uh, on how to be a good employee that they're not experiencing now until they're 22, 23 years old. And so by encouraging students to come get a job with Walmart, um, we really think we're giving them a leg up on entering the workforce once they finish college. Walmart isn't alone in its push to recruit high schoolers. Starbucks announced a partnership with Arizona State University in 2014 that allowed its employees to access a free online education. Disney also created a program that covers their employees' tuition and reimburses them for application fees and required books and course materials at schools within its network. Chipotle employees qualify for over $5,000 in annual tuition assistance and college credit for on-the-job training if they put down $250 a year of their own money. Walmart's goal is to attract talent early and then promote them down the line, which is a proven way to save the company money. So recruiting is one thing, but the cost of turnover is massive. So there are statistics that say that the, the cost of turnover can be 5, 10, 50 times the person's annual compensation. Another reason more companies are working to retain young talent, it's easier than ever to offer the kinds of incentives that keep them happy. Just take Guild Education. 
It was created specifically to help large companies offer education benefits through an online platform. Guild also supplies hundreds of coaches who work with every employee to help guide them through their education, starting with selecting a university. Walmart isn't Guild's only client either. The company also works with Taco Bell, Disney, Chipotle, and Discover. As the price of college continues to escalate, Guild has seen its client list grow as the private sector steps in to help offset mounting costs. Guild's founder and CEO compares the expansion of education benefits to when large corporations began providing health care to their employees in the 50s or retirement benefits in 401ks in the 70s and 80s. But when it comes to education, as I said, you know, the CEOs, the chief learning officers, the CHROs of our largest companies in the U.S. actually have the best understanding of the future of work and what's coming from a skills development and skills necessities perspective. Whereas, you know, if you're if you're stuck on a college campus today, you don't always have that really dynamic labor economic data. And the fact that our economy is moving so quickly now, it's actually imperative that the employment sector drive the teaching and learning that happens for America's workforce versus letting it be a supply-driven process, which worked for America in prior economies when things were moving slowly. But technology has automated and made so quickly the speed of change that it's really important that we bring the employer voice to the table. So that's the key thing that I think's changed. Whether programs like these are here to stay remains to be seen. Labor markets are cyclical, which means that at some point, workers won't always be in as high as demand as they are today. But analysts tell CNBC that signs indicate the labor market may remain tight for some time as the skills gap grows and businesses continue to struggle to find talent. The the need for uh, technology trained folks, which younger folks tend to be, uh, there's no time soon that it's just going to stop barring any kind of crazy, you know, great, another great recession. And there may be more to providing education perks than favorable publicity. It can also be a means of upskilling and reskilling employees whose jobs are in danger of being replaced by automation. Researchers at the Brookings Institute found that jobs in food preparation, office administration, and transportation will likely be taken over by machines, while highly creative or technical positions will prevail. Lower wage earners will be the first to see their jobs disappear since many of their tasks are routine based. Those ages 16 to 24 were found at greatest risk of having their jobs automated with technologies that exist today. While the the labor market might loosen at some point, in fact, I think it's rational to say it will have to, um, what isn't going to change is the the trends of automation that we see coming. So we know that there are going to be far fewer truck drivers, cashiers, um, a variety of hourly wage jobs that are currently being done that we know technology is automating quickly or in the next 10 years. And the millions of Americans who do those jobs understand that they need to develop new skills in order to be relevant in the economy, and their companies are best positioned to help them do that. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.